My name's Kevin Fegan and uh, I'm the writer of The Rook. My name's Craig Taylor and I'm the head coach of Batley Bulldog Girls Rugby League Club. We are Batley Bulldog Girls Under 16 Rugby League. The team formed four years ago with a, a couple of girls that I was coaching, my daughter and my niece. And from then on in, you know, they've been really successful and they've won the UK's competition for the last four seasons. Kevin was at Batley Bulldogs looking to write a play about the club, about the men's team. And then I heard about the girls' team and I asked if I could go and watch them train. And when I watched them train and spoke to them afterwards, I knew straight away as a playwright, this is where the play is. And when the girls were in the under-14s, the Australian school's champions came on a tour of France and England in 2014 and we played them. We gave them a really good game, the beat is 18-6 and that sort of whet the girls' appetite to play against a team that actually could beat them and did really challenge them. As luck would have it, when I was researching the play, the girls' team were booked to go out to tour Queensland, Australia. It was hard work for a year, there were quite a lot of sleepless nights, but we got there in end and we got the girls over there. I knew in instinctively it would be a time for me to really get to know not only the girls but their families as well, because they were going out as a, as a large group and that was a time for me to spend a few weeks with them, uh, really getting to know them. Kevin used to sing a chant for us. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. back at, sat on back at buses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit of a shock, really, to, to the girls to see what the standard of rugby were out there, but they became first girls' team to ever win a game on Australian soil. Playing rugby in Australia were scary, but exciting at the same time. I just think it really empowers girls. I see what they've got out of sport, and they'd probably all tell you that they won't be where they are now if it wasn't for rugby. The problems that inevitably you're going through as a young woman growing up in Bartley have to be addressed in some way. And you can see the girls working things out through the rugby, which they do t talk of in terms of, uh, in these terms of being a second family. That, that fascinates me a lot. That's what the play is really about. Everything about Kevin being with us and the girls were just really positive. And it brought Actually, two, two things, those paths had normally never crossed, the arts and, and, and rugby. You wouldn't put them two in the same, in the same sentence. <laughs>